Hi, deploying changes to your APIs without impacting clients is vital in most modern software products. In this video, I will focus on some best practices, strategies, you can use them to make a deployment smooth for your APIs using API gateways such as Apache API 6. During the tutorial, I will walk you through the what's the API versioning, backwards compatible APIs, and shadow, canary, deployments also will touch what is the future flags and how to achieve them using api6 there is no doubt that every minor change can potentially break your client applications an api version is more straightforward strategy to make changes to your apis without disrupting your client applications by version you can let your clients decide whether to upgrade to the new api version they can also update their application to the new API at their own pace. API gateways like API 6 can handle typical scenarios where your clients specify which version of the API to use in their requests. There are many possible ways of achieving that one. You can use your array paths, or you can uh, mention that in query parameters, or you can create a custom headers in the request. API 6 can be configured to route this request to the appropriate API version. The example below shows you how you can route traffic to different versions based on the path specified in the URI. As you can see, the configuration will route the request to path slash v1 slash products to the v1 version service. And the other request to the v2 slash products path will be forwarded to the v2 service and when you send these requests to the different passes you will get a different response from the two different services or two different versions of the services with api 6 you can also make your apis backwards compatible because sometimes multiple api versions cannot always get you far or sometimes these changes can be unavoided in this case API gateway can be interfaced between your clients and API remains the same while your API changes. For example, if you change your API endpoint from slash old slash API to new slash API, the gateway can redirect the client request to the new API endpoints without change to the client applications. The example below shows how you can configure route with a redirect plugin. There could be more complex scenarios where the client API interface changes. For instance, if the new API expects the key full name instead of two separate attributes like first name and last name, client sending the request in the old API format uh, definitely breaks. API 6 can handle such scenarios through the body transformer plugin. The example here shows how the API 6 can transform the request body to make your APIs backwards compatible. Now, every request body, like a separate first name, last name attributes, will be transformed to the one single attribute called full name with a full name in the value. Shadow deployment is a great strategy to test new APIs with a production traffic. Typically, this type of shadow deployment is carried out by mirroring or sending a copy production traffic to the new API and ignoring these responses for now. This lets you test application errors, performance by examining logs and metrics with the production traffic without really deploying your new API to production. In this case, also API 6 can help with that. It has a proxy mirror plugin that mirrors traffic to another service. The example below also shows how you can configure this plugin on a specific route. Next one is canary deployments. Canary deployment strategy can be quite helpful when you want to decouple the release of a new API from its deployment. In this deployment, initially a small percentage of the traffic, let's say 10% is routed to the new API version, while the rest remains to be routed to the existing old API version. This allows you to test the new API in production for bugs without impacting a lot of your clients. Once the new API is ready, the traffic can be routed to 
gradually uh, to the new API up to 100% of the time. API 6, you can also achieve this routing through the traffic split plugin. You guess you can see in this example how you can configure that plugin on a specific route. You can also apply similar strategy like blue-green deployments where uh, half of the traffic is routed to one API version and then the other half is routed to the new API version with the same traffic split plugin. Last one but not least, uh, feature flags. Sometimes you want to test new features that do not involve changes to the client API interface. In such scenarios, running new API version with this additional feature might require more resources than you expected. The very simple strategy is configuring future flags that are dynamic on cha making changes or making this uh, switch in your APIs. And API Gateway can act as a future flag service that all your APIs can listen to decide whether to enable or disable this feature. This works well because API Gateway is already central to your APIs and there is no need to set up additional service just to manage the future flags. API 6 can add the future specific headers to requests from specific client groups like let's say beta testers using proxy rewrite plugin. A new API can then check if this header exists and allow access to new features to these clients without exposing it generally. This example adds a beta header to clients in the beta tester consumer group as you can see. There are more things you can achieve with API Gateway and we only discovered a few of them for making your API's deployments very easy and also of course it's not enough or every strategy uh, we are, when we are choosing them we need to communicate first with our clients to make sure that we are not uh, introducing any breaking changes. Thank you for watching. If you want to learn more about API 6 and please subscribe to our channel, click on the bell to receive notifications about new videos.